Good morning, everyone. Good morning around the world. Good morning in uh, Rohana and Novata and Deb and Barbara. It's always nice to see you. Or here, you'll read your name here. And David, Toronto, and Laura. Hi, Laura. And uh, Elaine and Sunny in China. Hi, Sunny. It's nice to have you. And Stuart, Kathy and Stuart, and uh, Elizabeth and Sedona, and Nick, hi, and Tucson, and Susan, hi, Susan, Jeremy, Wendy, good morning. And uh, yes, I can imagine, Sunday, you're normally asleep. So, uh, Charlie, it's nice to see you. Name here, wonderful, good morning. Victor. In Holland, hi, Catalina, south of the equator. How nice to have this connection with you. Jenny, good morning. Ellen in Chicago, Rosalind, good morning. Dawn, good morning. Chantal, good morning. In Utah, Chelsea in Santa Barbara, Adele, Noala in Ireland. It's really wonderful to have you here and to feel this uh, this rich uh, connection from around the world. It feels to me like the earth has gotten a lot smaller this way. So thank you for being here and uh, starts at seven o'clock. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to our Friday morning sitting, and and I'm um, very happy to be here, and probably this uh, consistent way of becoming happy sitting in a room alone, uh, maybe only had when I've been meditating alone in this kind of way, and so I get to be sitting here meditating alone in a certain way, in a room alone, but with the company of all of you. And it's, uh, I find this delightful and much more than I ever could have imagined a month ago. So thank you for being part of it. So um, before we start, uh, I want to mention that um, this kind of principle, uh, if you want to jump high, you don't stand on your tippy toes first, because then you're not going to get much bounce up. You first want to, if you want to go up, jump up, you first probably want to crouch down, and then you can get a good spring to jump up. And so sometimes we want to go in the opposite direction, in a sense, uh, than where we're going. And... Um, so uh, this principle applies to mindfulness and meditation practice. The idea is we're a little bit kind of coming to crouch down so that we can rise up. And the crouching down has to do with um, really relaxing and settling here in the present moment. 
And there can be a lot of momentum to be for the mind and thoughts to be anywhere but here. There can be even some resistance to being here because maybe it's uncomfortable. There can be uh, 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 a much higher uh, uh, valuing of thinking about things and planning and remembering. And in fact, for some people, the present moment can be boring, not so interesting, or why would I want to be there? But uh, the prince, the idea is to, oh, we're really here settling really well here, maybe like crouching down and, and, um, and, and relaxing, relaxing into here. But a particular kind of relaxation, uh, not just kind of becoming slothful or kind of, kind of you know, like a, like a you know, puddle on the floor or something, but um, a kind of letting go and relaxing that is freeing that frees up the energies inside, that frees up the capacity for the mind to be um, uh, present and focused in a strong, concentrated way. Samadhi is not so much something that we engineer or add to our experience. It's mostly a settling away, falling away, a freeing of ourselves from all the things that keep us distracted. So there's crouching and settling and being really here with the idea that as we let go, that um, something begins to get born. And in strong states of concentration, there is kind of like a chi, energy, uh, uh, strength that uh, wells up and really kind of begins to spread throughout the body. And as maybe as I said yesterday, it's um, kind of like a spring, underwater spring, a fountain of water that's f- beautiful, clear, fresh, cool water. So coming out of that spring into the water, making an underwater fountain of water. In the same way, as we settle in and free ourselves, free the body energies, there begins to be a flow or glow or a good feeling or a refreshment or a freeing that uh, is the lifting up, the crouching, and then the rising that goes on. So uh, that was all a little encouragement to settle in right here with your experience. So if you could um, please take a posture that you think for you will allow you the combination of a a settling and a letting go and a freeing and an upwelling of your vitality. And then gently close your eyes. And to let your attention move around your body to see if there's any areas, muscle areas in your body that you can soften and relax. You might go systematically from the head down, softening the forehead. Even if it doesn't soften, for a moment imagine that the forehead spreads out and opens up. As you exhale, relaxing, letting go of the tensions in the eyes. Sometimes there can be tension and in the eyes it's not even a little bit of flickering. And what relaxing means is to accept that that's how it is to be easy with how it is. Relaxing the muscles of the face. And 
softening the shoulders. And this softening, relaxing of this body, the shoulders, is part of this process of crouching, of settling down, relaxing into And as you exhale, softening around the chest, the solar plexus area. Sometimes it's possible to relax the area around the heart. Maybe imagining that the glow of your heart or the warmth spreads outwards across the chest. Softening the belly, letting it hang forward and down, or settling into the pelvic cavity. Maybe there's a way of softening in the arms, all the way down to the hands. Releasing any tension in the area of the elbows. Any tension in the wrists. And any tension or tightness in the fingers. And then down the legs, softening the thighs, especially the top of the thighs. The lower legs, the calves. Down into the feet. And then globally, as if you allow your whole being, your whole body to settle on itself, supported by your chair, your cushion, your bed, whatever you're on. And then perhaps you can feel whatever vitality you might have, wherever the energy or the aliveness of sensations are in your body. And to be gentle and soft about feeling the whatever sensations you have that are inherently part of your being alive, your aliveness. And is there somewhere inside that feels like a spring or a fountain? for your vitality. And perhaps the end of the out-breath and the beginning of the in-breath maybe can be connected to whatever sense of the 
source of vitality, the beginning of an upwelling vitality as you breathe in. And the whole inhalation, the whole inhalation is kind of a spreading of vitality, aliveness, just in the sensations of breathing itself, with the inhale, sensations of inhalation begin, and those arise and spread and grow a little bit. And then a settling and a letting go and a freeing as you exhale. Every time you exhale, a freeing of your thinking, a freeing of any ways in which you're braced or held or critical or expecting, wanting, A freeing that allows you as you exhale to be simply here, softly crouching as you exhale all the way to the end of the exhale. And gently, relaxedly, Staying close to the rhythm of breathing in and breathing out. Breathing out and breathing in. Crouching and rising like a gentle massage, freeing you moment by moment.
part of developing samadhi is to allow the practice to have an influence on you, to allow the practice to practice itself through you, to be open and receptive to what arises, what transforms and changes that might be different than anything you could imagine. A willingness to stay close to the breathing and to be open to something arising and happening.
then as we come to the end of this sitting, to take a moment in whatever way works for you, whatever way you can, to trust that you have a good heart. To give yourself the benefit of the doubt that within you there is wellsprings of goodness, of kindness, of compassion, of integrity that may not, may not always make it to the surface but deep inside, that's what's there. And if you reach deep inside to touch and feel your goodness, your warmth, your... How would you like to express that, live that in the next couple of days? today, tomorrow, the next day. In what specific ways can that which is the best in you find a way to be expressed in words, in deeds, So that what's good in you is shared with others. And each of us contributes a drop into the ocean of our hu shared humanity. And may your drops, all the drops that you contribute, over the next days, be ones that contribute love and goodwill, care and respect and support may what we say and do carry with it the wishes May all beings be happy. May all beings be safe. May all beings be free of affliction. May all beings be happy.